In this video essay, I want to explain the historical link between science and different forms of visual media such as photography and motion picture and how they have been used hand in hand to assist racist white males in proving that whites were superior to all other races. In the late 1800s, elitist white males used pseudosciences like craniology, phrenology, and physiognomy to affirm eugenics and further prove that the white race was superior. While these men were limited to public displays of difference and altered images of black people, the development of motion picture revolutionized the way they were able to show black people to the world. D.W. Griffiths, Birth of a Nation, used the same visual tactics as the eugenicists to depict the black majority in a negative light. The movie itself is a film adaptation of Thomas Dickens Jr.'s The Klansman, a historical romance of the Ku Klux Klan. As the title suggests, the movie shows the KKK as godlike heroes dressed in white from head to horse riding around the south to free the poor defenseless white minority from the tyranny of the black majority. The way the characters in the film carry themselves is particularly important to the viewer's understanding of what would happen if the formerly enslaved Henry George were given white rights. While the KKK members are covered in white from pointed hat to horse and are depicted as gods, the blacks in the film, more specifically, the black characters played by white actors in black face embody the image of uncivilized primitive beasts. The audience viewer can see the stark difference between the way the blacks and whites in the film look and speak through the Ku Klux Force. film depicts the black majority in this way to play on the white audience members fear of what would happen in the antebellum south if blacks were given freedom and rights. Even the real black characters in the film are shown in a negative manner. They are drinking, eating, and talking very loudly in a very formal setting. Lastly, we even see the expressions on the only white people in the room's face. They look disgusted with the way that the blacks are acting and as if that they want to leave. This depiction of the whites in the film is made to align with the white audience members and show them how negative the impact would be if blacks, in fact, were given their freedom and rights. At the end of the film, because it is an adaptation of the historical romance of the Ku Klux Klan, they ride into the town and save the poor defenseless white minority from the tyrannous black majority, thus giving the answer to white audiences that if you have a problem with a black majority or black people having power in general, that the KKK will solve that problem for you and keep
keep white or